OpenAI is valued by private investors at $86 billion, due in part to the popularity of ChatGPT. But if you're looking for a revenue figure for the Red Hot Artificial Intelligence Startup, the latest official number you'll find is the tiny sum of $44,485 for last year. That's from the nonprofit Parents 990 filing with the Internal Revenue Service, a form that has to be filled out by organizations wishing to maintain their tax-exempt status. OpenAI shared the document with CNBC, and the website Plainsight published the filing last week. Federal standards don't require audited financial statements from nonprofits. In its home state of California, OpenAI was able to avoid submitting audited financials for 2022 because the foundation's stated revenue was below the $2 million reporting threshold. The last time OpenAI filed with the state was 2017, when revenue was $33.2 million, or more than 700 times what the foundation reported for 2022. For all its talk of openness, OpenAI's financials remain a black box. Created as a non-profit in 2015, OpenAI launched a so-called capped profit entity in 2019, enabling it to raise billions of dollars in outside funding and attain attributes of a tech startup, such as the ability to hand out equity to employees. The for-profit side of the house went on to develop ChatGPT, the chatbot that took the world by storm late last year and kicked off the generative AI boom. The information reported in August that OpenAI generated $28 million in revenue last year and will likely approach $1 billion in 2023, reflecting the surge in popularity for ChatGPT and enhancements to OpenAI's models. OpenAI's latest IRS filing adds to the confusion that surfaced last month, when the nonprofit's board, which oversees the entire entity, abruptly fired CEO Sam Altman, explaining in a blog post that it no longer has confidence in Altman's ability to lead, and that we believe new leadership is necessary as we move forward. Reports quickly surfaced that the board was angry about Altman's push to bring commercial products to market despite safety concerns at a nonprofit that was designed with the goal of building safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence for the benefit of humanity. Just days later, Altman was back at the helm after employees threatened a mass exodus and major investors worked to reverse the board's move. Altman said on X, formerly known as Twitter, that there were real misunderstandings between me and members of the board. Concurrent with his reinstatement, Helen Toner, Tasha McCauley and co-founder Ilya Sutskever were removed as board members. The chaos has called into question whether OpenAI can or should continue under the umbrella of a nonprofit. Thad Calabresi, a professor of public and nonprofit financial management at New York University, said OpenAI's current status is confusing and is unlike anything he has seen in the nonprofit world.